Alright, I'm gonna give you some power. Okay, you're good to go. Alright. Back in 1999, suddenly I uh, had a pain in my back. I uh, went from completely able-bodied to paralyzed, everything from um, about the waist down. My injury came about from a BMX bicycle accident, broke my back, and was paralyzed instantly. We're inspired by the patients that come to us and ask us for help to make new tools that will go a step beyond the wheelchair. This machine helps with a couple of different things, rehab, uh, exercise, and involved in our everyday lives. I am I'm not the robot, I wear the robot. Unless you've been in a wheelchair, it's very difficult to see all the very small details and you know, what a person would actually need within an exo frame. And we've worked together almost as a two-part team where we're bringing the science and they're, they're bringing the, the insight from their reality. Of course, there's other ex exoskeletons out there, but the big problem with those is their price points. $100,000, I can't afford. So what we're trying to do is get it to be on the affordable scale for everyone. Where I see that, that future is just really a more organic experience operating the exoskeleton. And you know, what all that's moving towards is just a more seamless merge of the exoskeleton to the user. I see that technology getting closer and closer to be able to replicate what uh, the average person is capable of. I feel much more with myself and human-like being in this device, being able to stand up eye to eye with somebody. It's strange that this, this robot makes me feel more part of this planet than the wheelchair does. <laughs>